and there are powers. And who you follow decides what follows you. What follows you? It's as simple as that one. Jesus said, My people perish. Yes, we pay our for lack of knowledge. It says, You shall know the truth now. And the truth you know will set you free. The truth is very powerful. But the truth is useless to you if you don't know it. You shall know the truth. And that truth shall set you free. There are powers and there are powers. But the rule is very simple. The rule amongst powers is very simple. When a lower power comes against a greater power, as a matter of necessity, that lower power must bow. It's a rule. If you are stronger than your enemy, the enemy cannot embarrass you. This is why the Lord said, "Be strong." The Bible says, "Be strong in the Lord." Be strong in the Lord. And one of the reasons He asks us to be strong is because we have a strong enemy. That is because we have a strong. Part of the reason is because we have a strong enemy. When you connect to a power higher than your enemy, the bow. The Bible says, when thou art strong, then you take the yoke from off your neck. If you are not strong enough, and you are trying to remove the yoke of the enemy, the enemy will come back and put more yoke. So that the person does not escape. There are 21 powers to connect to this year for complete success. 21 powers to connect to this year for complete success. That's what we want to discuss. And we go as a spirit leads us and cover what we can cover for today and continue next time. Nobody prays for crisis. Nobody looks for trouble. Nobody wakes up and says, today I want trouble. But unfortunately, the other name for the world is trouble. And the world is a crisis center. The world is a very large psychiatric hospital. It's a, it's a mad world. This is why I've been telling you for since about a month ago that it is abnormal to be normal in an abnormal world. When the world is mad and crazy, the abnormal to be seen in that environment. Now, it's abnormal to be seen in that environment. understand this very, very well. So when things arise, if you pick one of these 21 powers and you connect to it. I'm showing my spirit. The Lord will give you victory. What are these 21 powers that we connect to and put our enemies to flight and move the way God wants us to move? I'll take them one by one. The first one is the power of praises. The power of praises. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Exodus 15, verse 11. The first power you must connect to this year is the power of praises. Exodus 15, 11. If you are there, say yes. That passage 
Oduwe is the origin of one of our most popular praises and worship songs. We say, Who is like unto thee? Oh.
Amen. The Bible says, Bibeli wipe. When we praise God, is glorious in holiness. Ologo fearful in praises. Elero ni. He doeth wonders. Since she yan. God becomes a terror to our enemies when we praise him. Olorun wa di erojeje fun awon ta wa nigba ta ba yin. This is what the word of God says. O ti oro Olorun so ni eleyi. In Psalm 149, ni ore Daphne ori kokon, ore Daphne kokon de ni adodo verse 6. Ese kefa. Psalm 149 verse 6. We have the Kokondini Adojo Esekefa. So let the high praises of God be in their mouth. King, your Lord, no kill Wali and no one. And the two edged sword in their hands. I see the Lord to make it over. Execute vengeance upon the heathen. Let us know. So Lara and walk if you read. Punishment upon the people. I see Gia, Lara and Wayne. Please note this powerful scripture. As you see, 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 your Lord, and talk about you things about praises. One suffering and one connect by him. In Psalm 22, verse 3. Near the Daffy, the Kaji Lady of Gun Esekata. Psalm 22, verse 3. Or the Daffy, the Kaji Lady of Gun Esekata. We're talking about powers to connect to this year. And so, Nipan Wakba to your castle for money, no doing 22 verse 3. Or in Africa, you did you go a secretary? Some 22 verse 3 says this. With Africa, you did you go a secretary? At holy, so for me more, Nero, oh thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel, and it's you, oh, tear in Israel, you do. But thou art holy. So for me more, Nero, oh thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel, and it's you, tear in Israel, you do. Paul and Silas, Paul and Sila, went out to minister. What did the Lord say? Share your own share. They did not go of their own accord. We lot no one law more law from around. It was not their personal decision to go and preach. He said, "We no around that law was so." God said, "Go there." Oh Lord, Lord, we pay law see them. And they went there. What's the law see them? Immediately they arrived in the place. They get there in one day. They just want the first convert. One convert said, "Jerry, you come on." After the first convert, they are come to Jerry. They captured them. On the moon, they drag them on the floor. On one one nail. They wounded them. They beat them. And they put them in the innermost dungeon in the prison. A very, very disappointing treatment. I finished it. Today, for those who went out to serve God, they were not there to serve the devil. 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 They were not there to serve God, we came here to serve you. Allah, we will allow us to come here to preach. We will allow our words to flow. We will sit down there. We will sit down there. Open your eyes. We will allow you to see. We will allow all this to happen. We will sit back and open our eyes. We will serve you anyway. We will not fight that one sin or that one. But the Bible says, "The Bible says, at midnight, Nigba told the Ogunjoor, Paul and Silas, Paul or Silas, they connected to this power. I'm trying to explain to you. One so I want to mark, but I'm not going to let it slide. The Bible says at midnight, Bible says when the Ogunjoor, Paul and Silas sang praises to God and they prayed. Paul or Silas calling and see, Lord, once it's Badura, and they got connected to God. Once it's so I want to mark, Lord, and then the earthquake of deliverance started. Nigba, no, no, me, me, ati, two cities, two cities, bare. When you praise God, the enemy is unhappy. Nigba, the ban you. Because no one is happy when they are praising his enemy before him. Praises is a battle axe. A weapon of war. When next you find yourself overwhelmed, why don't you declare declare a period of marathon praise. It is possible to pray, pray. Sometimes I'm pray amiss. But you cannot praise amiss. The tongue of praise has no time to gossip. If Christians praise God more, His wonders will explode more. Unfortunately, many of us don't take praises seriously. Sometimes someone will say, "Well, they've not started the service; they are just singing praises." Actually, that period of praises is the high point of the service. God praises the praises of. God loves 
praise because it gives voice to our own faith. Olorun ferun eyin nitori po ma fun igbagbo wa ni ohun. And it's a powerful weapon. O si je ohun elo to lagbara. Paralyzes the devil. O si ma mu ata yaro. Ushers in the presence of God. A ma je kini o mu wa si waju Olorun. God inhabits the praises. Nitori pe Olorun a ma gbe ninu yin. So for those of you who don't like singing praises go and learn the songs. Tori nu eyin te o ferun lati ma ko rin e ma ko. Those who don't have in books go and buy your in books. Ente o ni wi o ni Olorun e wi o rin and learn how to praise God. Yes, he call the thing in your Lord. You will certainly need to connect to this power this year. Oh, the Lord of Fun like so for more agbara e ninu odun yin. Praises will bring God into situations. Yin, a mu Olorun wa sinu awon ipo. It will make the harm of God to arise for yourself. I dare keep a power Lord no pull the deni to rin yin. And as lovely as it is, it is also a weapon of violence. For God Himself is a man of war. And God is enthroned inside the praises of His own people. And when you praise God, it's also an act of faith. Whether you feel okay, don't feel okay. That the situation is terrible. The situation is good. It does not matter. Break forth into a period of marathon praise. And watch that praise melt away your discouragement. When praising God, you are announcing the greatness of God. He in turn will release power to meet our needs. There must be a mystery and a reason. Why praises, why praises is the highest occupation of angels in heaven. There must be a reason. So when we praise him, we join up with those voices in heaven. Satan. Satan is allergic to people praising God. And he doesn't like it at all. I pray for you that you understand the deep, the deepness and the depth of this matter. And how to purify your faith, purges your doubts. And exhaust God in your life. So the first power to connect to this year is the power of praise. What is the first power? Can you say that again? Can you say that again? The second power that you must connect to this year is the power of prayer. The Bible says men ought always to pray and not faint. It didn't say men ought always to preach or teach. So men ought always to pray and not cease. Anna prayed. And we ought to start praying Anna style now. And pray like a drunken person. We need to start praying like drunk, drunk people. Elijah prayed like a warrior. We need to start praying like that too. Jesus, Jesus prayed on his, his sweated blood. We need to start praying Jesus style too. Jabez prayed the kind of prayer that turned the tide of his life. People pray in the Bible. They use prayer to separate waters. They use prayers to raise the dead. They use prayers to cause the enemy to depart. Men ought always to pray. And not faint. Everything we do in the house of God. The devil can do better. He can sing, he can dance, he can preach, he can teach. In fact, the devil is the best pastor. Because he knows the address of every one of his members. 
But one thing they cannot do is to pray. And so once the devil wants to deal with a Christian, the first thing he removes is your prayer life. Once that prayer life is gone, that's it. I'm praying for you today. And the anointing of prayer to get results will fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Let that amen rule like thunder. Many are praying for big breakthroughs. Their prayer altar is not strong enough to take the breakthrough they are asking for. There are so many powers, I don't want them to possess it. So as you increase your strength in prayers, you increase your strength in prayers, you increase your breakthrough. Many will not be able to assess the breakthrough God has for them. Until they have obtained a certificate in the school of prayer. The Holy Ghost to trust them in prayer. So what is the first power to connect to? And the second one, the third power is the power of agreement. Agreement. In Genesis chapter 11, anyway, Genesis verse 6, Genesis 11, 6. Genesis Please listen carefully to this third one that I'm telling you. Genesis 11, 6. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. And they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them. In Genesis, which they are imagine to do. There is power in agreement. The Lord said, These people I'm looking at, this kind of agreement within them, you can't stop them. Now to now bring it home to us in the New Testament. Matthew chapter 18. Matthew verse 18. Verse 18. Matthew 18, 18. This is an important scripture. An important scripture. An important scripture. Matthew 18, 18. Matthew 18, 18. Very name I say unto you. Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth. Shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth. Shall be loosed in heaven. Look at verse 19. Again I say unto you. That if two. Of you shall agree. Shall agree. Shall agree. On earth. As touching anything. Are you following the scripture? An agreement on anything. That he shall ask. It shall be done. He didn't say it may be done. It shall be done for them. Of my father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together again, agreement in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Bible says one which is a thousand. But you will have thought that two which is 2,000. Say one, which is 1,000. Two, 
purchase how much? Ten thousand. So you can see that by just agreeing, they have multiplied strength. This is why I'm standing here as a prophet of the Lord this morning. And I agree with you that you shall prosper. I agree with you. you your pursuit. I agree with you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I agree with you. Everywhere you go, favor shall follow you. Yes, I agree with you. 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 I Fire shall come out of the powder. I agree with you. will pursue and locate you. In the name of Jesus. Shout a loud amen. Shout a loud amen. Now join your hand with the hand of somebody. Hold somebody in the hand. Somebody. Hold the person in the hand. One to one. Hold that person in the hand. And you will decree that by the power of agreement you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. I agree with that person. I agree with the person. And join. Father, Baba, as your children have agreed, be all more ready for my shokoloni. I decree that heavens will over answer your prayer. In the name of Jesus, let that rule like thunder. Let's go on a little bit further. What is the first part you should connect to? And the second one? And the third one? That's why it's not good for you to be in a household. You don't pray in that house. No prayer in the house. No family prayer. No friendly prayer. Nothing. Anyone living in this, under the same roof must pray together. I want to bang bela bi urule kono la ti badura kwako. When his husband and wife is even stronger, ti oku ataya kono tuwa leju belo. The fourth power to connect. Agbara kenyi la ti swara wako mo is the power of sowing. Oh ni agbara la ti ma fun irukmi. You sow. E fun irukmi. You sow. E fun irukmi. Remember. E roti. That woman. Arabi reni. That kept sowing. Until one day, this woman, I've been looking at a man of God. Second Kings, built a place. She kept sowing. She kept sowing. Until God gave her. Something that money cannot buy. Titi, Allah of a phone you until you walk away. Anyone who is sowing, any can it open and find conditions. One day have a major breakthrough. Lord, you can you near Lajja to lake Enka. It's the principle is very simple. Ilanore, oh, roll, 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 roll. The Bible says Isaac sowed in the time of famine. The Bible is so clear. Isaac, oh, full of money. He had nothing but he sowed. When you uncover, you must see the oh, full of money. When the returns came back, the Bible says Abaja just received what they was outstanding. Oh, tie your lock, lock, lock. Very, very outstanding. Oh, tie your giddy, giddy. That is something you must not forget. Oh, come here, tell God of Abaja. So seeds. Into the things of God. Don't wait for somebody to tell you so, 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 so. No, no. So, say what the Lord will do for you. So, what is power number one? Two. The cage. Three. The cage. Four. The cage. Four of soil.
5 is the power of prophecy agbara isotele the power of prophecy agbara isotele prophecy isotele is miracle in advance oni ke ni ise iyarun te yan foju sona si a miracle in advance ise iyanu ojo ola prophecy isotele is a revelation of what god has already finished in the spirit realm oni fi won ti olorun ti pari ni ipele ti emi prophecy isotele elisha elisha when there was famine nigbati yan wa he prophesied oh no so tell it very crazy prophecy uh, we so tell it to that be so no tell it to see we it's like there is no food no nothing in nigeria now oh that you come as you only look at the nigeria and see the prophets rose and said by this time tomorrow only what the only name will you or dollar a bag of rice yourself for two naira how my talk we rest you can't deny that it's crazy as that what the man was saying or already have you already seen we be your change in so elisha prophesied is seemingly impossible thing elisha also tell any point what would have been be cool she she and it happens so what she so this year don't take prophecy lightly tori na ninu odun yin e ma fi owo ye pere mu isotele take it lightly at all e ma fo owo ye pere murara not only that this is what she be nikan improve your spiritual life e o a je ki igbe aye temi to the level to the level that apostle paul was talking about see pele ti apostle paul o so ni pare he said beloved oni olofe i wish that all of you could prophesy e ba won mi ki gbogbo ile ma so tele everybody ki e gbogbo that is one spiritual gift in the bible everybody can have it everybody, everybody can have the gift of prophecy so when you start with personal prophecy on your life you come to the house of god you hear prophecies and you begin to receive them things began to happen things will begin to happen it was many years back lopo lopo odun seyin ni many many years back lopo lopo odun seyin i was in the late 90s we are be odun 1990s to fe ere ka se nle i was in abuja ilu abuja ni mo wa and we used to hold meetings there as man si awon ipade nibe mountain of fire then ni gbo ori o ka se inu nigba na nibe i was about leaving the pulpit mo fe fi ori aga iwa su sile and the lord said son ni oluwa so pe omo that is someone here eni kon wa ni o to je wi pe is been troubled by serpent ti e ju n da laamu tell the person e so fun eni na that as from today be lati oni lo serpent is dead e ju na ti ku i was on my way away from the people that came back mo fe kuro lori aga iwa su mo to pada wa there is someone here e oluwa so pe eni kon wa ni a lady arabirin as a serpent troubling you e ju kon wa to n da laamu today the serpent is dead lo ni ni e ju na ti doku well oda A few people said there few people say amen and when your dear lucia me see us one lady at the back also said amen arabirin kan wa leyin ninu ijo nbe o na se ami as of the time we were having that meeting ni gba ta nse ipade ta nso yi she was 39 years old she was still a virgin omodun mokan de logoji ni wundi as lo je the men don't show interest in her at all ko ti e awon okun ni o ti e nwo odo re rara she lived in this high rise building in abuja she's on the i think she was on the fourth floor ni awon le olele gogoro to wa city no forest no bush yen la rin ilu gidigidi ni ko si ipo ko si nkokon nibe so she got home o ba dele she entered into her bedroom o ba wo inu yara ibosun re father i thank you for taking me to the meeting baba mo dupe po mum lo sinu ipade but as you looked bo se wo something was sleeping on her bed nkokon dubule sori ibosun re she was afraid eruba and the thing was covering itself with a cover clothes oh you know wa fi asobora re o fi bo ara re lara so she wanted to run out o ko ko fe salo because something said to her gbo nko kon so fun how can you be coming from a mountain of fire and miracles mystery prayer meeting are you afraid ba o lo se ma bo lati ni ipade adura ori oke ni ati se iya nu te ru wa nbo so she tiptoed to the bed o ba yo lo si bi ibusun yi took the cover cloth o ba mu asobora yi took the cover lo si Beloved, on that bed was a large python. Lori busui ni jula, jula snake. Ejo, toto bigi digi. With the head on a pillow. But Lori ejo, Lori Rory Arabiri. But the snake was dead. Me ejo na tiku. She screamed. Okay, be and called the neighbors. Oh, se kui anwara dubore. The neighbors were afraid too. Eropa anwara dubore ba kono. 
it was not a question of take away the snake, take away the snake. No, you could. It's drag away the snake. They drag it. Eh, eh, woe into your kuro, eh, woe from my bedroom. Kuro, they know you are Then this lady learned for the first time. In her life. That every night she slept on that bed, there was another entity sleeping with her on that bed. She was married to a serpent. And she, she didn't know. Within three months, this sister was now properly married. After that serpent had died. This is why. I'm prophesying into your life. Any power that has made it a full-time work to disturb you you shall be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. That amen is not loud enough. I prophesy into your life that you shall soar like eagle. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let's continue a little bit further. How many powers have I told you now? What is the first one? Kini, Kini. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So when you come to a service and you are hearing prophecies, yes, even if it doesn't concern you, no but the coin, you better connect, connect to it. Connect to it. Because sometimes God goes to meet the need of one person. But when he sees the heart of another person, you catch the overflow. Six. The power of decree. Akbara big pashe. Decree. Akbara latima pashe. The power of decree. Akbara ashe pipa. The book of Job. It was Job. Chapter twenty two. Orike jineli ogun. Verse 28. Job 22. Job 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing. It was it be more And what will happen? He shall be established. And the light shall shine upon thy wounds. The power of what? There is a difference between prophecy and decree. For prophecy to be fulfilled, it requires faith of the one receiving that prophecy. But when God moves to the level of decrease, the fulfillment of a decree does not depend on the recipient at all. It depends completely on the power of the one making that decree. Nothing to do with whether you believe or you don't believe. It's the power of the one issuing the decree. What it says here, thou shalt also decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. Power of decree. He has also given you that power to issue decrees. Which is completely different from prophecy. Right there where you are, can you raise your right hand to the Everest? And shout this louder than anyone around you. I decree upon my life that I, Daniel Olukoya, Christopher Olumuywa, shall arise and shine. Shall arise and shine. Shall arise and shine. Shall 
Finally, before we go home, let's pick the seventh one. The power of blessing. Blessing. If you are a careful reader of the Bible, you will read, and God blessed Abraham. And God blessed Isaac. And God bless Jacob. You will have read the story of Jacob in your Bible. Who held on to that angel? And he was only one prayer request. Say, and except you bless me, because I will not let you go. All Jacob was asking for was a blessing. A blessing. Say, unless you bless me, I will not let you go. Say, let me go, Jacob. The day is coming. Say, no. Except you bless me, I will not let you go. Beloved, there is power in blessing. The blessing is the opposite of curses. Blessing is a force. Walking positively for you. The Jews have a habit of blessing their children at least once a week. Bless them. They bless them. Many people don't understand what's going on in America. How God blesses them. You will find all over the place sometimes God bless America. 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 Everywhere you see, you find it. When that blessing comes upon you, it is a marathon of good things. Blessing is a force. It works positively for you. Blessing is to, for you to be greeted with success. Where others are encountering failure. Blessing is a positive spiritual energy. That can only come through verbal pronouncements. Verbal pronouncements. Even it has gone to another level now. Scientists have discovered science and what is she when people plant crops they plant crops and they are talking to those plants they are blessing the plants it grows, it grows better blessing is a divine mandate giving to angels to prosper your way blessing is for you to enjoy progress and favor blessing is for you to enjoy an open heaven. Blessings for you to walk with corresponding fulfillment. To have promotion, promotion galore. Blessing is for you to become a terror to the powers of darkness. God wants to bless all of us. We need to connect to the power of that blessing. We need to form the habit of laying hands on our heads and blessing ourselves in the name of the Lord. You bless yourself in the name of the Lord. A man laying in a bed of gold. A man laying in a bed of gold. Is laying on a bed of gold. Oh, soon, sorry, a kete wura. But has terrible disease. It's not blessed. But the servant changing the bed sheet. Who is in hell? 
He's still the richest man in the room. There are blessings of health, blessings of emotion, blessings of the soul, blessings of health and healing. So anyone who is blessing you, without using the name of the Lord, is practicing witchcraft. Such blessing will not bring you anything. There is nothing like bless you. Just somebody will look at us and say, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. But there is the Lord bless you. There is nothing like take care. The Bible says be careful for nothing. Take care means be anxious. Be worried. Be cautious. Be Care is worry. So take care is almost similar to a curse. So when somebody tells you bless you, please say God bless me. God bless me. So says be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, let your requests be known unto God. Lay your own right hand on your head. And begin to bless yourself in the name of the Lord. Bless yourself with all kinds of blessings. That will come into your spirit. Bless yourself in the name of the Lord. So I bless myself in the name of the Lord. The Lord bless my going and my coming out. The Lord will make his face to shine upon me. The Lord will be gracious unto me. The Lord will be gracious unto me. The Lord blesses you from Zion. And make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall trample upon every serpent and scorpion. Upon every part of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies. I say, in this year. Laminate my life. In Jesus' name we pray. As we go, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. This week, your breakthrough shall be outstanding. This month, the Lord will show you uncommon favor. All the prayer requests here, O Lord, answer them by fire. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Thank you for listening to us this evening. See you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evening on our Facebook prayer outreach, I would like you to listen to this message on 21 powers to connect to for complete success. God bless us to join us in the name of Jesus. We began to look at 21 things to connect to.
so that you'll be able to possess your possession and do what God wants you to do. We began to discuss that in this particular year, the first power you must connect to is the power of praises. How many of us remember this? The power of praises. And that if the way becomes cloudy at any time, in this particular year, declare a marathon session of praise. So the first part to connect to is the power of praise. Who remember the second one? The second power to connect to is the power of prayer. And I said this year, we need to pray Jacob style. Unless you bless me, I will not let you go. This year, we need to pray Anna style. We pray like drunken men and women. This year, we need to pray Elijah style. This year, we need to pray the way Jesus prayed and sweated in the garden of Gethsemane. What's the third power we say we should connect to? Power of what? Agreement. Power of agreement. The Bible says, if two of us shall agree, touching anything on earth, it shall be done. And I remember telling you last week that it is not in vain that the Bible says one will chase a thousand but when it becomes two two will chase ten thousand there is power in agreement. And the fourth power you should connect to this year is the power of sowing. You sow into the things of God. You father about the We Care Ministry here today. Anyone who sows one day will surely have a major breakthrough. You can sow prayer. You can sow evangelism. You can sow money. You can sow your talent. You can sow your talent. Anyone who sows will one day reap a major breakthrough. And what's the fifth one? Sorry? Kilewi? Prophecy. And I told you that prophecy is miracle in advance. And the thing that is one gift that the Bible says you can all have is the ability to prophesy. And so I prophesy into your life once again. This year, the eagle of your destiny shall soar. In the name of Jesus. This year, everything that has failed you in the past shall listen to the voice of restoration. In the name of Jesus, say I receive it by fire. In the name of Jesus, then the sixth power, power of what? Decree. Decree. The Bible says, Thou shalt decree a thing. And I was differentiating between decree and prophecy. And for prophecy to be fulfilled, it sometimes requires faith in the one receiving the prophecy. But when God moves to the level of decrees, the fulfillment of decree does not depend on the recipient. And so I declare upon your life that you shall arise and shine in the name of Jesus. 
And the seventh power, I said we should connect to this here is what? Agbara KJ Timonika Agbara Ibukun. Blessings. Ibukun. The Bible says bless. Big well is okay, Emma Suri. Bless. A suri. So there is power in blessing. Suri na agbara wa, ni no si suri. Bless others. A suri fun and win you. You bless yourself. E o si suri fun arayin pe. And I think that's where we stopped last week. E ro komen si ni pe bita men u duro ni ni o se to konja. So most of you are putting it down. Suri no yinte ni akosile. What's the first part you should connect to? Ni agbara ki ni te ni lati so komo. Number two. E kej. Number three. E keta. Four. E keri. Five. E karo. Six, Ikefa, and number seven, Ati KJ. Now we go to number eight today. Nisi, I'll also see KJ or Nisi. That was a summary of what we said last week. One power you must connect to this year. Agbara kanti ala ti so ara wa pomoni no doi. Because of the nature of the year, ni tori bi odu no ti sheri is the power of deliverance. Oni agbara itusile. You must connect to the power of. Deliverance. The power of deliverance. Jesus came with a threefold ministry. To save, to heal, and to deliver. To save, to heal, and to deliver. A lot of people understand salvation. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of people understand healing. The deliverance is sometimes not very clear to many people. But the bottom line is that Jesus is the greatest deliverance minister. In the book of Luke chapter 4, in the book of Luke chapter 4, gospel according to St. Luke, Chapter 4. Verse 18. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Says this. Oh, we buy the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. E me because He has anointed me, number one, to preach the gospel to the poor. Number two, He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Is to preach deliverance to the captives. Four, recovery of sight to the blind. Five, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Lastly, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So there is a ministry. Two, three, Call the minister of deliverance. Some call it the minister of conflict. Jesus came to save, to heal, and to deliver. Deliverance is not only for witches, wizards, and whatever you call them. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be. Deliverance. And holiness. And the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. There must be holiness. There will be deliverance. Then you possess your possession. Therefore, really, deliverance is you possessing your possession. It's you setting yourself free from any limitation. Whether physical, spiritual, financial, all limitations. So this year, keep yourself into deliverance. Keep yourself into deliverance. A good deliverance process takes place in five stages. A good deliverance process takes place in five stages. Sometimes we get it wrong. And that's a problem. The first stage is new birth. Salvation. 
Bible salvation. Conducting deliverance for a person who is not born again is a waste of time. The Bible said these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. Them that believe. Them that believe. Them that believe. Deliverance is children's bread. So it's for born again Christians. If a man is not born again, he is not saved. And you want to do deliverance on the person, perform deliverance on him, you will only worsen his situation. Because when the single demon that he has go out, seven will come back. So the first process is new birth. So going for deliverance without being sure of your salvation, is a waste of time. So the first stage is salvation. The second stage is diagnosis and detection. Diagnosis and detection. That's why sometimes they give you forms to fill. Have you done this before? Have you done this before? Do you do this? Do you do that? Have you ever aborted? Have you done magic before? Have you done this before? They place questions before you. It's detection and diagnosis. So with those questions, the man ministry will know how to help. Your answers to these questions will tell you how many bondages you need to break. When they brought a boy to Jesus and the boy was assaulted and they foamed in the mouth and died, Jesus asked, How long has this child been suffering like this? Because the first thing you need to do is to identify your enemy. Don't identify the enemy and you start shooting. It's a waste of time. The third stage is ejection of the evil tenants. Get them out of the hiding place. Eject them. That is the process where you now go for the deliverance ministrations. And you, you pray, bind, bruise, claim. That is just a tough stage. The first stage of deliverance, which many people miss out, you must remove the deposits of the enemy. And repair what they destroyed while they were in residence. You remove their deposits, you repair what they have destroyed during their stay in a person's life. If the enemy has been deposited something in somebody's body, that enemy has been chased out. You need to now pray out what. He put in the body. Oh, yeah, can we have fear? Do that by that day. Oh, until what if it's not to repair what the enemy had destroyed? Oh, yeah, can we have bad? Do that at it too. Until what if by that is that's what the Bible says. The Unity Bible is so we pray in the beginning was the word. Lay at the cost, any or all the word was with God. Or no, see what we all the word was God. Or Lord, on see or no, all things were made by Him. Nick Pastor, the last day down without Him was nothing made that was made. Because you see, what you are there because you Meaning that God has spare parts for all parts of the body. That's why I'm decreeing right now. Anything the enemy has destroyed in any life, whether as a baby, whether as an adult, whether in the dream, receive repair in the name of Jesus. Let that man be loud and clear. It's seven for the
So stage one, new birth. Stage two, detection and diagnosis. You don't fight without knowing who you are fighting. Number four is ejection of the unprofitable tenants. Check them, break their connection, throw them out. Then the fourth one is to remove what they have deposited. Repair what they are destroyed. Fortunately, the Almighty is able to repair and replace anything. And the fifth stage is to barricade your life against future attacks or against re-entry because the enemy will always want to re-enter you barricade your life and how do you barricade your life you live a life that is clean a holy life a life of prayer a life of holiness a life soaked into the word of God one powerful prayer point we used to pray many years back which we still pray at deliverance ground is that there must be no reinforcement there must be no regrouping there must be no re-entry of the enemy into my life no reinforcement no regrouping no re-entry no reinforcement shout it loud no regrouping no re-entry can you shout those three into my life in the name of Jesus can you shout it loud amen so this year key into deliverance anytime you hear a deliverance service going on oh join yourself to it and anytime God leads you into prayers to pray. The mountain of fire has plenty of prayers. God is leading you go and pray from this book, pray from that book. Key into that deliverance. Um, and do it well. And I'm sure the Lord will help you in Jesus. That is number eight. The night power to Kito in a year like this. This is where you must listen to me very well. It's the power of of midnight prayer. The power of midnight prayers. David. David was the first person in the Bible who started getting up at midnight to pray. That is recorded. There might be others, but David was the first recorded one. In Psalm 119, verse 62, Verse 62. I wait for you to get there. Psalm 119. Verse 62. At midnight. I will rise to give thanks unto thee. Because of thy righteous judgment. There is power in praying at the midnight. God did almost 
everything important at midnight. Every time the apostles were locked up in prison, it always took night prayers to set them free. Even in physical warfare, people wage war in night. So night warfares are extremely effective. No one likes to remain awake at night. After working during the day, people usually like to rest at night. But the hard fact is that if you must defeat your strong enemies, you must learn to wake up at night to pray. It's not easy. But you must learn to do it. So learn to call, be at Don't plan to do long sessions. You may fall asleep. But if you plan 15 minutes, and you start to trap midnight, and you do a good, aggressive, hot 15 minutes and sleep, that's okay. Jesus laid examples for us. Jesus, no fear. This is Luke chapter six. Verse twelve. Luke chapter six, verse twelve. Jesus laid examples for us. Jesus, no fear. Luke six, twelve. Luke or Rikefa, Esekejila. We have a marching order if we must prevail. Ashe la la ni taba fe bori. Luke six twelve. We look ori ke fe seke jila. And it came to pass in those days. O si se ni jo wan. That he went out into a mountain to pray. O lo si ori oki Lord Badura. And continued how long? O si fi all night. Go boru no Badura in prayer to God. Si o loru. He continued all night in prayer to God. O fi go boru no Badura si o loru. Jesus proceeded from that night prayer meeting to preach the most powerful sermon ever delivered. Which is a sermon on the mount. It took all night prayers to produce that kind of result. Midnight prayer is a sure arena of breakthrough. A sure location for breaking satanic bondages and limitations. In Exodus chapter 11, verse 4. Exodus 11, verse 4. Begin to study the principles of Moses in Egypt. Exodus 11 4. And Moses said, Moses, we pray. Thus said the Lord, by the Oluwa, we about midnight. Will I go out into the midst of Egypt? About midnight. And this is a principle. That works for us even in the New Testament era. That's why I was telling you that God did so many things around the midnight. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 29. Exodus 12, 29. And it came to pass that at midnight. The Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. All this happened at midnight. There are levels in the spirit realm you can never achieve unless you start getting involved in midnight prayers. There are levels of ministration and visions you can't have. Levels of revelations you can't have. You cannot attain them without a prolonged kind of midnight praying. One man of God called A.W. Tozer 
book. The title of the book is Born After Midnight. Born after midnight. The major point Brother Tosa was saying in the book that most of the important process revelation destiny changing life revolution happen after midnight. So night is the best battle time. At that tower, there is a high level of witchcraft operations, a high level of demonic activities. And at midnight, the enemy goes out to cause pain, to cause sorrow, to cause affliction. The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came. Great breakthroughs occurs when we pray and praise at midnight. Just, just like Paul and Silas. And praying for somebody here. That the grace of so wake up at that hour. And pray at that hour. And move in that hour into another realm in the spirit. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. Continue next time. We've covered nine now. Let there be silence now. Why the power of God is moving from person to person. I stand against every arrow of affliction. I stand against every arrow of pain. I stand against every arrow of paralysis. I stand against every arrow of any evil cough. I stand against every arrow of heart attack. I stand against every arrow of cancer. I stand against every arrow of oppression. You the arrows of darkness. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. Receive your healing now. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Every plantation of darkness that has followed anyone here, he the word of the Lord. It is written, he himself for our infirmities and took away our sickness. It is written, every tree that the Father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. Unprofitable tree in the head. Unprofitable tree in the eyes. Unprofitable tree in the heart. Unprofitable tree in the body. Unprofitable tree in the blood. Unprofitable tree in the blood. Unprofitable tree in the blood. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I approach you now in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted, 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 be the power of God is moving. That's right. Yes. Every attack against your blood. Every attack against your blood. Every attack against your blood. You that fell over there. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Shout this loud and clear now. Say, Government 
gift of shame. I saw it. it Garment of infirmity. I saw a little catch fire. Go in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and set them ablaze. In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, Baba. This hands that are stretched forward here. Let it become the hand of healing. The hands of deliverance. The hands of power. The hands of strength. In the name of Jesus. The hands of power. In the name of Jesus. Smite the enemy and the enemy shall flee. Every plantation of darkness. Flee in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready now. Anywhere there is any infirmity in your body. With this anointed hand. Smite it. 21 fold. And believe the Lord for a miracle. And as you smite it. You will shout blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Get yourself ready. Let's go now. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Jesus. Say it loud and clear. The blood of Jesus. 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 Holy Catholic. You receive the touch of the blood of Jesus. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Check your body now. Check it well. If you brought a condition here and the Lord has taken it away, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back on you. Run quickly to the altar. They will come in by the blood of the Lamb. The word of their testimony. Now right there where you are. There are some prayers I want you to pray. And pray it with fire and with power. Let nobody's voice be louder than yours. As you pray these prayers. Say, I cancel. Mofagile. Every evil and writing. Against my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to cancel the evil and writing. Cancel the evil and writing. Cancel the evil and writing. Cancel every evil and writing against you. This is not a money to negotiate. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cancel the evil and writing. In Jesus' name we pray. So serpents and scorpions. Sign to disgrace me. Die in the name of Jesus. Do 
This is why Jesus brought you here. He did it because if you knew what sin. Receive and touch from the power of God from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Receive the touch of that power. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every underachievement. Planted in my star. Fuck this. Like somebody needs to shout this loud. Your voice is still not loud enough. Die Deal with the underachievement planted in your star. Something is up over here. Oh, cancel it. Oh, yeah. Deal with the underachievement. Eh, go do for a while. See, you're in your quote. You're so. A notable signs and wonder has happened in the life of somebody on this gallery over there. But you are saying in your mind that I want to wait to confirm. And the gallery up there. Don't do that. Come quickly and share what the Lord has done for you. They were coming by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This prayer is for so many people here. And pray it well. They are January prayers. Oh, God, Blessings. Can I hear the brothers shouting this? Let me hear the sister saying the same thing. Everybody to Canada. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Release my blood blessings. Who are we? Buku me tante lo no sile. Increase a mountain of progress. Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. name we pray. Just, we are be looking at 21 powers to connect to this year. I'm sure that many of us have started to put these things into practice. 
will serve you to the nature of this year. There are 21 powers to connect to. For the purpose of those who are just joining us, for those of us who have been taking some notes, we are going to go through them now. What is the first power I say you must connect to this year? Power what did you say? Okay, right there where you are, then pick any song of praises in your mouth. Maybe say, Great is a God. How great is his name. How great is his name. Forever the same. He roll back the waters of the mighty Red Sea. And he said, I never need you, but trust me. Amen. Amen. And I explained that praise is a battle axe. I explained all this that time. And when things are tough, declare marathon praise. Nobody likes his enemies being praised before him. Once the time first that you are praising God, he will flee from where you are. In spite of any situation you find yourself, don't forget the weapon of praise. And to connect to it. You should have your in-books. You should have your song of praises. You should, as much as you can, be in praise worship services. Those of you who come late for service and miss praise worship, you are, you are missing a great lot. So don't connect to the God of praises this year. The second prayer, I said we should connect to what is it? Power of prayer. And I said this year, we must pray different kinds of prayer. Pray like Hannah. Pray like Jesus. Pray like Elijah. Pray like Jabez. Pray like Jehoshaphat. In the Bible. What's the third power? Power of agreement. If two of you shall agree touching anything, the Bible says it shall be done. Four, power of sowing. You must learn how to sow seed. No matter how small your pocket money is, you sow seed out of it. If you sow seed out of it, God multiplies it back to you. Multiplies it back a lot, 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 lot more periods fold. A multiplication effect will enter into it. If you sow it. Five. The power of prophecy. And I've encouraged all of you to become your own prophet. You don't have to be other people's prophets. At least be your own prophet. Learn to, to prophesy upon your life. Prophesy upon your life. Prophecy is very powerful. Elijah prophet, Elisha prophesied what was not that look impossible. What Elijah said that day was as crazy as somebody saying a bag of rice which they sell for 8,000, 10,000 now would be 1,000 naira tomorrow. That's what he prophesied. It But it was prophets. That's, That's why I am prophesying into your life. And any power standing to mock you this year shall be massively disgraced. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. What is number six? Power of decree. And I was explaining the difference between decree. I'm 
prophecy. When God moves to the level of decree, it's another thing entirely. It is that level of decree you see in Genesis. He said, Let there be light. That is how the English is putting it. Be a dao guess she called in the original language. It says light be one. That was a decree. I said, What do we say? Let there be light. But what? in the original, there key mole be light. 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 In the arena of great things. I decree upon you that you will achieve it in the name of Jesus. Let that amen roar like thunder. Seven. Power of blessing. At this you must bless yourself. You must key into blessing. Moses will say, Moses, we pray. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Moses, if we in your room, the Lord blesses you from Zion. Oh, Lord, I hope you feel that it's your name. And makes His face to shine upon you. Yes, you do. Come on, let's see. And if you read that grace, someone in the Bible, blessed are they, blessed are they, blessed are they, blessed are they, blessed are they. There's power in blessing. The Bible says, "Can be or not." Once you know, people will pray. Allah, you can find one. Allah, you can find one. May heavens hook your head to divine blessings. In the name of Jesus. Verse number eight. Power of deliverance. And we discussed that last Sunday. As Bele is on your door, Sunday to connect to the power of deliverance. It says, but upon Mount Zion, there shall be holiness and deliverance. Then the children of Jacob shall now possess their possession. The children of Jacob will possess their possession because of the power of deliverance. Then number nine, the power of midnight prayers. Midnight is an important period. And I explained last Sunday that practically most important decisions, most important moves of God were done midnight or after Moses, midnight. Moses, the Bible says at midnight. Paul and Silas, who knew the strategy of midnight prayers? Paul and Silas, who knew the strategy of midnight prayers? They started, and that was it. At midnight, is a heavy spiritual traffic. Spirits going up and down. And at that beginning from that hour to around 3 a.m. in the night. It's a period that a lot of dark things, a lot of evil happen. If you fire a midnight prayer, and at that time they were deliberating on your issue somewhere in the dark, they will regret ever bringing your name into the matter. Praise the Lord. And I think that's where we stopped. This morning we go to number 10. Number 10 part of Connect to this year is the power of faith. 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 The Bible says in Mark chapter 9, verse 23. This is very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. This verse. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. All things are possible to him that believe it. All things are possible to him 
that believe it. A friend of mine was running a crusade in one foreign country. Although the crusade was advertised, you know those foreign countries sometimes God have mercy. Although the crusades were advertised, but when he got inside the hall, only one person came. So the pastor invited him. Said, Man of God, only one woman came. Let's cancel the crusade. Man of God said, No. I will preach to her. So the woman sat down. And she was the only one that listened to the sermon. Oh, the Don't tell boy, was Pray the prayers. And went away. The man of God did not know that the second day to that crusade they were about to deport the woman and her children. She didn't know. And that is why the woman came for the crusade. And the topic that day was the mystery of faith. Was the mystery of faith. So this woman went to court next morning. And as she arrived there with her children, and the government judge was there, reading out the charges. Reading out the charges. Uh, the judge did not even wait to ask the woman, Are you guilty or not guilty? When the man read the first charge, Judge confronted him. Said so, no. That cannot be true. Read the second one. Said so, no, I disagree. Read the third charge. Said so, no. It doesn't look like somebody can do that. Do you have anything serious to say about this woman? Say, say my lord, she should be deported from this country. She, has, she is not supposed to be here. The judge now turned to the woman. So, do you have a pen? She said, yes, my lord. Write so, this down. This is how you can escape. Do this. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Go away. By the next day, the woman was back at the crusade to give testimony. You see, there is tremendous power in faith. It says, all things are possible to him that believe it. How many things? How many things? How many things? All things. Say, if you have faith, you can say to that mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. You don't doubt your mind. The Bible says, it shall be so. It shall be so. It shall be so. All things are possible when it's your back, Babo. But then, a lot of us get into trouble because we welcome what you call faith killers. Bring something in, it kills your faith. And many are quietly and stylishly romancing faith killers. The faith killers, I want to buy back, bro. They are this. I want to read. When you entertain thoughts of failure, you will fail. So, faith killer number one is entertaining thoughts of failure. Just entertain it. Then, it doesn't work. Yes, Supposing it doesn't do this. Supposing it doesn't do that. You've taken an exam. True, you didn't do too well. But you take, you took pen and began to write uh, C, D, F for yourself. 
entertaining I'm praying for someone here. That, that thing inside you. Bro, not you, you know yourself. You know what I'm talking about. That thing inside you. Anytime you are praying, you are not just praying. You are confronting yourself. You are not just praying. 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 You are you begin to meditate on the magnitude of your problems then you are killing your feet a lot of people just kill their feet the magnitude of the problem many of the people that are taken to the hospital with minor sickness they sometimes die because when they see cases they get afraid when they see cases they get afraid we took a boy to the hospital many years ago when I was in University of Lagos. He fell down from a bus. And the bus moved over his leg. So, so 1 a.m. we rushed him to Luth in the hospital. They took him to the emergency ward. So was there, we took him there and I stood there for the first time in that emergency ward. And one man was on the bed. He had pile. But on that bed, he was asking people, so, What did kill that one? He pile near. Say malaria. Only I didn't kill that one. I began to ask questions. Oh, I'm very car and I said, Stop asking this. Stop, stop, stop asking this question. Oh, yeah, bury. I want bury. Believe God. Bow a lot of God. Say, Ah, oh, yeah. If malaria, if you kill that one, this one, a pile. So, by a pay, bad, you pay your coin, lay, jedi, jedi, ni. By the time we came to look at our friend next day, it was gone. Nick, but our water was dead. Ni, dock, edgy. Or create a coup. So when you meditate on the magnitude of your problem, it means that you are just dancing like David danced, but you don't have the faith of David. David looked at Goliath. Others looked at Goliath. They were afraid. Too big. Too big. We can't fight him. Too big. Too big. Too too big. 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 So big, it is easy for my stone to meet him. Two different ways of looking at it. And the first thing that confused Goliath was because David ran towards him. He ran towards him. Nobody in the life of Goliath had ever run towards him. He was fond of pursuing people and people around him. But the first time somebody was running towards him, I prophesy upon your life. You shall run towards your Goliath and slay the Goliath. You shall slay your Goliath in the name of Jesus. So when you meditate on the problem, you are killing your faith. Killing your faith. Three. When you focus on difficulty instead of solution, it's the difficulty you always focus on. You are not looking at the solution. How about this one? So it's dead. How about that one? The account is closed. How about this company? It's not doing well. How about this child? It's not doing well. So you just focus difficulty, 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 difficulty. It doesn't give you any solution. Four. When you give in to discouragement, it's a faith killer. Discouragement is a faith killer. The Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. He encouraged whatever he was going to do, he encouraged himself. He refused to be discouraged. When you give in to discouragement, you kill your faith. Discourage. 
you will remove the courage from it. Five. When you listen to the symptoms, you listen to the symptoms of the infirmity. As you listen to that symptom, you may not realize that all you are seeing is a mouse that they put a microphone in the mouth of that mouse. This microphone in my hand now, if you hold a rat in your hand, and the rat is making peep, 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 peep. It, like it will be so loud. If I hide the rat here, and the rat is making noise, it's just a rat with a microphone. When you listen to symptoms, the reason is this, there is still a voice that is an overruling voice. There is one voice that can overrule any voice who can break any law and sus suspend any law. That voice is the voice of Jehovah. And it shall speak to somebody's life today in the name of Jehovah. Number six, faith killer is trying to see before you believe. The Bible says, believe and you shall see. Believe and you shall see. Not trying to, trying to see first before believe. If I see, I will believe. The seven faith killer is reference to former failures. And listen to former failures. I did it before. It didn't work. 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 You listen to former failures. And worry and anxiety. Worry anxiety. It a faith killer. Nine, negative confession. You're always saying negative things. Negative things. Negative things. These are the major faith killers. I pray that they will not kill your faith in the name of Jesus. Raise up your right hand. Say by faith. I possess my possession. By faith, I possess my possession. In the name of Jesus, shout it again. Amen. Amen. So, what is the tenth thing? We're not in Ikewa. Power of what? Faith. Now we go to number 11. Number 11, we take it from the book of Mark. Chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 17. Mark 9, 17. I'm telling you about the powers to connect this year. And I want to give you an assurance. As God lives and His Spirit is alive. The key to these 21 things we're discussing. You will surely laugh your enemies to scorn this year. Mark chapter 9. Verse 17. And one of the multitudes answered and said, Master, I brought unto thee my son which had a dumb spirit. And wherever he taketh him, he cheareth him. And he foamed. And gnashed his teeth. And pined away. And I speak to thy disciples that they should cast him out. And they could not. They tried to cast it out. Although they were following Jesus, but they could not. 19. 
He answered him and said, Oh, faithless generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, that spirit reacted. Straight away the spirit changed. And he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And Jesus asked his father, How long is it ago? since this came unto him and he said of a child of a child and often times it has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him but if thou can do anything have compassion on us and help us Jesus said unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believe it and straight away the father of the child cried out and said with tears Lord I believe help thou my unbelief when Jesus saw that the people came running together he rebooked the foul spirit saying unto him thou dumb and deaf spirit I judge thee come out of him and enter no more into him and the spirit cried and rent him so and came out of him and he was as one dead in so much that many said he is dead but Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose and when he was come into the house his disciple asked him privately why could not we cast him out. And he said unto them, This kind, this particular kind, can comfort by nothing, but by prayer and fasting. The level power to connect is the power of fasting. The power of fasting. He said, This kind, this kind, other kinds may come out without even little, without even big prayers. Others may come out with just five minutes prayer. Say, but this particular one will not come out except by fasting and prayer. Fasting is a fundamental thing to anyone who desires the power of God. I feel sorry for churches where the pastors are telling them Jesus has fasted for you, don't fast. I feel sorry for those who cannot do ordinary palm of St. James. I feel sorry for those who do two, two, two o'clock, seventy days. Some people find it so difficult. What you don't know that the problem that man is inside now came through the mouth gate and we are still struggling with it now fasting is a key to God's power you cannot pick God's power on the street you have to pay a price for it so many believers these days are powerless because their belly has become their God many of them have no desire for fasting fasting is a fundamental thing in Isaiah 58 verse 6 instead of swallowing slimming tablet I want to slim I want to slim if you really want to slim now, to buy a pay a fair key again to tiny, you serious want to slim down. See a fair key again to tiny. If you go and 
200 days drive us. By the time you go halfway, they'll be looking for you inside your skirt where you are hiding. I want to sleep, I want to sleep, I want to sleep. When, when you are serious, you are going to fast. Because it's what you put into the mouth that will make you big. In Isaiah 58, verse 6, it's not this the fast that I've chosen. It's chosen fast. What is the purpose of that fast? To lose the band of wickedness. Some wicked powers will not bow until you had fasting to your prayers. To undo the everybody's. Some load the enemy has placed on people's head, even from their mother's womb, cannot be removed without fasting. And to let the oppressed go free. Without fasting, some oppression will not be will not be shifted away. And that you break every yoke. Without fasting, all yokes cannot be broken. Is there black and white? It's scripture. Fasting is powerful. Some people, instead of consecrating their lives, cut away worldliness. Live a holy life. Live a regular life of reading their Bible and fasting and prayer. I prefer to be roaming around the streets. That mountain. Okay. This valley. But tell you, this place, they just room in a Instead of, they're too lazy to develop themselves. Fasting away helps you to crucify your flesh and get it out of the way so that the Spirit of God can walk in your life. There is always a battle on between the flesh and the spirit. But if you starve that flesh, it will be powerless against the spirit. No man can rape a woman when he's on 10 days dry fast. Because that flesh has been battered down. You can't do it anymore. The flesh has been rendered powerless. Fasting removes every blockage in your communication with God. Fasting Fasting we sharpen your spiritual antenna so, so you can hear more clearly from God. Fasting tears down the stronghold of the enemy. It tears down the stronghold. Fasting breaks their bondages. Fasting clears our way into victory. Fasting helps you to build up your faith. Takes away the weaknesses in your life. And leaves you strong to face the battle of life. Fasting helps you to cast down every imagination. And bring every evil thought captive to God. Fasting brings you into the realm of the miraculous. Moves into miraculous. Strengthens your faith. Fasting away. Look at Isaiah. 58 verse 8. Fasting improves your health. It improves your health. Look at Isaiah 58.8. Verse 
Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. And thine health shall spring forth speedily. Thy health shall speed forth speedily. It improves your health. So for those who love food, for you want to May God have mercy on you. For those who are afraid of fasting, there are many bondages that will remain permanently in a person's life. Certainly, no man, no woman should go and marry somebody else without fasting and prayer. Don't, you can't, getting, getting the right chance is a battle. So no man should venture to him without fasting and prayer and hearing clearly from God. And praying for somebody here today. That the grace to do fasting to get results. We come upon your life in the name of Jesus. So the 11 power to connect to his what? What did you call it? Oh, okay. Um, what did you call it? The next power to connect to which is what number? Sorry? 12 is the power of holiness. The power of holiness. The Bible says, Bibeliwipe. without holiness, lie see wa mimo. No man shall see the Lord. See you, Rio Lord. He may see the pastor. Eli Rio Lusuagut. He may see deliverance ministers. Eli Rio Unisei to see it. He may see many things. Eli Rio Ni Rurum Kon. No man shall see the Lord. See you, Rio Lua. These days. Lord, many people go to church without a clear idea of what is happening. They come, salvation is not clear, redemption is not clear, and they are not following what God wants them to follow. The Bible. Bibeli is a book of holiness. Remove holiness from the Bible. And there is nothing left in it. What is holiness? Holiness is total submission of your body, of your soul, of your spirit to the Lord. Total submission. Of your body, of your soul, of your spirit to the Lord. Total submission. Every aspect of your life is under His control. You're talking, you're dressing, your work, what you do is under His control. That's what you call holiness. Once holiness starts from within, nobody needs once holiness starts from within. Once holiness starts from within, then nobody needs to be preaching to you, don't wear this, don't do this, don't do that. You will know. You will know that this is not holy behavior. Behavior. The trouble these days is like the story they used to tell us in our primary school. In those days, in our ancient primary school, they said there was a king who had a beautiful daughter. And the king decided that he was going to give out his daughter to the fastest runner. So immediately that competition came. Most of the animals there did not bother to contest. They had clearly said, well, the dog will win this race. Give it to them. 
the dog is the dog that will marry this woman. Let the dog go. Gbogbo won won ti gba. Pe aja ni yo leke o ni o si fe arabirin yi. So the dog came and registered his name for the race. Ni baba e aja de o na ko ruko re sile lati DJ. But to the amazement of everybody. Sugbon fun iyale nu gbogbo eni. Second day. Ni ikeji. The second day. Ni ojo keji. The tortoise showed up. Be ni ijapa ni alaba won lo na ba de to register. Ko na fe fo ruko sile. It's possible that you are a Lagos person. You have never seen a tortoise before. But you know, tortoise is very fast, isn't it? <laughs> you know, tortoise is a sluggish animal. Just moves like this snail. So tortoise registered. Everybody laughed at tortoise. How can this man want this tortoise wants to compete with dog in running? But tortoise spent one day before the race to do his homework very well. A day to the race, tortoise went to the market. And bought very juicy bones. And planted the bones in strategic places in the race track. The day of the race came. Get your marks. Get inside. Go. The dog took off. The tortoise crawled after him. But as the dog was moving away, the signs that was a bone. He left the racetrack. And went to the bone. And started eating it. it. Started eating it. As he was eating it, something was telling the dog, Mr. Dog, you are in a race. Mr. Dog, you are in a race. But he kept saying that tortoise. Tortoise is a slow animal. I will finish my bone and I will still win. So he finished the first bone. Because you know Tortoise was just moving like a cockroach there, slowly and sluggishly. The dog took off again. A few meters away again. There was a juicy bone again. The dog could not resist the bone. When there again, started eating that one. Started eating that one. And do you know? That why the dog kept eating juicy bones. The lazy, sluggish tortoise. One the race. It's a story they used to tell us in those days. Satan, Satan has handed over bones. What if he and we go boom? To many Christians. And they are busy licking it. Licking it seriously. The three pillars of faith has been replaced with many things in many churches today. The word of God in many places has been replaced with motivation and entertainment words. Prayer has been replaced with singing, clapping, and sometimes breaking into the comedians. The Holy Spirit has been replaced too. Many Many church members don't speak in tongues. They do not receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. They will say, Once my heart is clean. Listen, beloved. God does not manage people. God will manage me like that. No. God does not share people. It's an insult for God to be sharing with malice, fornication, adultery. It was not the Lord alone that my book me a day. I did. I knew the Atipe Bello. That's why he did it. God said, No, Lord, if you want to be lukewarm, to bathe, dear, and it's you, to your lower walk, 
then I will spit you out of my mouth. I will spit you out if you want to be lukewarm. I want you to think deeply about what I'm telling you this morning. God does not bother about majority. Many look and say, ah, well, if uh, the sin is so tough, then many of us, uh, many of us, uh, will not be able to do what God wants us to do then. God is not bothered about the majority. God has never been interested in the crowd. God wants quality, not quantity. He not preach and preach and preach. Only, only eight people were saved. God was not bothered. Only Abraham was called out of that idolatry land. Abraham was not bothered. God was not bothered. Gideon gathered 32,000 soldiers. God needed only 300. God was not bothered. 600,000 men left Egypt. Only to God's to the promised land. God was not bothered. Jesus. After working for three and a half years preaching and teaching and healing, gathered 120 people in Jerusalem. God was not bothered. I need to check your life this morning. And after some time, I will join them. You are procrastinating. And that is a great problem indeed. Holiness is essential. You need to connect to the holiness of God. Holiness is total submission of, submission of your body, soul, and spirit to the Lord. Holiness is allowing God to perfect. Is work of grace in your life. Check your life seriously this month. Especially as you go into the year. And try and understand. Yes, without that holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Finally, before we adjourn, God. Will always forgive every sinner who comes to him to ask for forgiveness. He will not turn anyone back. However, however, forgiveness of sin never removes the consequences of sin. This is why you need to be holy. Sin will sometimes leave a scar in your life that forgiveness cannot clear. To take God's forgiveness for granted is to risk uncertain consequences. And the result of which you may not even know. And I first got to forgive me. I first got to forgive me. I first got to forgive me. I was forgiving me. I have cried before God. He has forgiven me. Okay. Okay. Forgiveness will wipe away a sin. But never the consequence of that sin. Which most times will be more painful than the sin itself. The Bible talks about the wages of sin. Wages. Sin is a bad pay master. Sin pays wages. Bad master. Sin is such a bad paymaster, he has never paid anybody well. The, the commission on sin is usually worse than the promise it gives to you. The Bible says, though hand be joining hand, no sinner will go unpunished. So if you 
form the habit of regularly committing and say, hey, God forgive me, God forgive me. God, yeah, he may forgive you, but the consequences you will certainly bear. Nitori no to bati di ashafun ilat ma so kolon kolon dari jimi, dari jimi. Olorun yo dari ji o su mora bora bo ese to da. This thing you are doing is very, this thing you've done is very bad. Say, sir, I've asked God to forgive me and I've gone for deliverance. And the Holy Spirit minister to me that he has forgiven me. Yes. He has forgiven me. God forgives. And he will ever forgive. While grace lasts. But forgiveness never erases the scars of sin. The consequences of sin is always greater than the pleasure it had provided. The water of sin may be sweet, but the consequences will always be bitter. That's why I say without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. So the twelfth power you should connect to this year. is the power of holiness. Jesus said, The prince of this world comment unto me. He found nothing. Nothing. If the prince of the world should come to you now, he certainly find nothing in you. One satanic agent many years ago who published a book. I don't know whether they still send that book now. They call the book Delivered from the Power of Satan. Written by one Emmanuel Eni. Emmanuel Eni then it took Emmanuel Eni was into darkness, into the occult, into this dark spirit world before he surrendered to Jesus. In that book he said he went to an all night prayer meeting. And the five people singing and dancing. I will carry Jesus up and throw Satan away up of Jesus down Satan up of Jesus down down Satan he said, he looked around. He said, three quarters of them that are shouting down, down Satan. That if they should decide to come and attack them there, they are all finished. Meaning that they are living on clean lives. You are here this morning. You are still watching pornography. You are still watching pornography. You can't connect with holiness. You remain an enemy of God. Here this morning, lying, stealing, fornicating. How you come to a praying church like this? You should be advised that you cannot connect to that holiness. And once you don't connect to holiness, listen to me well. And there is a danger about to happen. God will not rescue you from that danger because when you were alive, you, you have no benefits. So they want to so they want to destroy this book. So this that one, yeah, that one comes to church, but uh, not serious. Waste, waste them. This is the problem. This is the problem sometimes. A danger is supposed to happen. And a child of God mistakenly gets into it. If he is precious in the eyes of the Lord, the Lord takes him out. But if he is the one living an unclean life, a double life, they will be wasted together. That's all. A woman was giving a testimony. Now our church in Abuja. She wanted to enter a bus. She wanted to enter a bus. She entered actually. Sat down. Ah, she remembers she has not bought something. She jumped down to go and buy it. She came back again. Another person has taken her seat. There is one seat left. There was one seat left again. So she sat down. 
Oh, she remembered there is something to buy again. Oh, but you know, you to what? You She jumped down and get to go and buy the thing. Oh, so college no rank. Oh, can't enter. When she was coming back again, you got to work for the work. The conductor said you cannot enter. Ne enter. You can't enter. You are not serious. Oh, bro, money. This is your third time of gallivanting all over the place. Back at that, it don't worry. It don't go there. They need buy. Next passenger. Next passenger. Next passenger. Mirror to fell. Hello. Mirror to fell. Oh, so they took another person to replace her. Oh, but more. Hello. Mirror lost. See, between we are pushing. So she's waiting for the next bus. Oh, but you don't fall. Oh, mirror to what? 10 kilometers away. The kilometer me wa sibe. A trailer of had fallen on that bus that left. Ne oko ajagbe kan ti yi lu oko akero yi. Everyone there pressed, crushed. Gbogbo awon to wa ninu oko e lo te. Mole took her away. Olorun mu okuro. From that tragedy, kuro ninu ijamba yi. She was living a life that God respects. Ni so de po n gbe igbe aye ti o bo fun Olorun. Listen beloved. E gbo olufe. Jonah. Jonah was in a boat o wa ninu oko because he decided to be unholy nitori po pinu lati ma gbe igbe aye wa mimo by disobeying god nipa sisha igboran si olorun wanted to wipe out jonah and whoever was traveling in his boat olorun shetan lati ba ti jonah ati eni ken to ma ni ajo pelu re the identity does not matter whether they are white or black or you are the same with jonah that's it olorun obikita lati mo ru fi awon eniyan to wa pelu re ninu oko so because of Jonah, everyone in that boat will have lost their life. But there was another man of God. Paul. Paul. He was in the ship with 276 people. All those who were to be wasted. But because he was there, the Lord preserved all those people. Because he was living a life of holiness. Not living in disobedience. That's why you should pray this prayer hard. Pray it really hard. Say, Lord, make me what you want me to be. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray like that. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, In whom the God of this world has blinded their minds so that they cannot receive the gospel. They say the dog that wants to get lost will not hear the whistle of the hunter. There is something that hardens a man's heart against his God. Can you shout it loud? Shout this loud and clear. Dullness of heart. He said, "Pick me up, Dullness of ears. A tito wuwo disappear from my life." In the name of Jesus, the dullness of the heart, the dullness of the ears, a tito wuwo. Jesus name we pray. Ni oruko Jesus lagbadura. Father we come before you. Baba awa si waju re. You have our lives in your hands. Oh aye wan be ni owo yin. Father Baba as many of your people as are in this garden this morning. Eyi awon mo e to wa ninu ikora joko yi ni owo royi. Power agbara to move from strength to strength lati lo lati pade ipa and from glory to glory ati lati o let it come upon them in the name of jesus ko pade won ni oruko jesus every spiritual weakness go by lera ti emi we bind and cast you out in the name of jesus we as in le ja de ni oruko jesus as you go into this week, we'll cover you with the blood of Jesus. I bless in the name of the Lord. And when you are coming out, shall be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, I decree that this year shall favor your children in the name of Jesus. All the prayer requests, I will not answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.